Body Chime at this station in Tokyo is a theme song for Tetsuo and Adam, Astro Boy. Greetings from Takara no Baba, Tokyo. I'm Patrick W. Galbraith, author of the Otaku Encyclopedia, and I'd like to welcome you to Tetsuo Osamu Day. Tezuka is a personal hero of mine and a cultural icon in Japan. He's like Walt Disney, Stan Lee, and Steven Spielberg all wrapped into one. This is one creative dude. He's called the father of manga, the Beatles of manga, even the god of manga. And this is one guy who I think deserves to be worshipped. We wouldn't have manga or anime in the contemporary sense of these terms if it weren't for Tezuka. This is a man who wanted to be a filmmaker after World War II, but instead he chose the emerging media of manga. He took a media for young boys, for kids, and invigorated it with cinematic style, sophisticated stories, adult themes and content. Basically, all those things we think are so edgy and creative about Japanese content, we can trace that back to Tezuka. Tezuka's most beloved series is Tetsuan Adam, or Astro Boy as it's known overseas. This is a story about a little robot boy with an atomic heart who flies around, he teaches robots how to live with humans, and humans how to live with robots, how to have a better society in the near future. His heart is pure, and it's nuclear. Think about when this story was coming out. Tezuka was telling a story about the positive effects of robotics and nuclear energy years after Japan became the first nation, the only nation to suffer the effects of the atomic bomb. This is really an amazing thing, and it's probably the reason why we have so much more positive image of robots in Japan. You have giant robot protectors, robot friends, robot girlfriends even. This is unthinkable outside of Japan. Thank Tezuka for that. Astro Boy went on to become the first serialized TV anime in Japan in 1963. At the time, people thought it couldn't be done. It was too costly. The production would be too difficult. But Tezuka proved them wrong. He used limited motion frames and lots of stock images to bring his creation to life. His production house, Mushi Pro, is located in Takano Mababa. Also in 1963, Astro became the first TV anime shown overseas on NBC in the United States. Today, anime is beloved all over the world. I hope Tezuka Osama will continue to inspire all of us for years to come. Children, creators, otaku, we all love Tezuka.